Some of you eagle-eyed terrarians have already made mention of this in the comments section to my videos, but for those who haven't heard, there's some bad news for mobile beta players who aren't using an Apple device. Mr. Game Theory, the spokesman for the mobile developer, had this to say this week on the Terraria Discord. We are extremely excited to begin giving out access to the Terraria mobile beta tomorrow. We have had a great response from the community and we can't wait to jump into the beta. After some testing, we found out that the Android version of the mobile beta can be hacked and the APK can be leaked online. Because of this reason, Android will only be tested internally at this time. However, don't worry, the Terraria Mobile 1.3 update will still be coming out on Android and on iOS at the same time. We are also doing this because we are getting much closer to the mobile update and we don't want the Android community to get an unfinished version of the update. The iOS version of the open beta will still be moving forward. We also plan on moving forward with the daily beta giveaways until we announce the beta release date. Man, Apple users get all of the nice things, don't they? This uh, news development is certainly disappointing, but I have to concede it's understandable because Terraria itself had to be released earlier than expected back in 2011 on account of, you guessed it, a leaked version of the game getting out. So if anything, these folks are more sensitive about this sort of thing than other companies. The silver lining to this cloud is that it presumably means that any Android users who have already won beta slots are going to need to be replaced with users on Apple devices. So if that's what they would need to do anyway if they want to keep the beta tester count at the original target. Otherwise, they simply will shrink the beta pool by a certain amount. Anyway, Relogic Community Manager SafeMan threw us Android users a bit of a lifeline he posted the following on the official forums. The beta should be getting started later today as far as I know. I don't have exact dates obviously, but it doesn't look like it is going to be a very long beta compared to the other platforms. I'll definitely keep everyone updated as we get closer and I'm hoping to have some details and more good stuff for everyone on the next state of the game. Well, that's comforting, right? If Android users can't test the beta, at least we won't need to wait particularly long. Although, no firm timeline has yet been given, to be sure. With the monthly state of the game updates typically being posted around the 20th of every month, it's really any day now that the state of the game for this month will be released and it always promises a fairly substantial news post and so with any luck we're going to get some more specifics about that Terraria Mobile 1.3 beta when it gets posted. But in other news I made a community post recently about this screenshot of a comment from Senex on the Terraria Discord. Do any of you have comments on what this boss might be? Any thoughts? Like when it might appear? in the progression, where it might appear, that sort of thing. Going with the game's fairly consistent Lovecraftian theme when it comes to monsters, I really wouldn't mind some kind of a space monster fight in the space biome. Now, of course, that might be a little tricky for players without the UFO mount, but hey, if it's a special boss fight thrown in as some kind of an end game bonus, it ought to be tricky, right? Whatever it turns out to be, I can't imagine it's going to be quite as intricate as that Moonlord fight, which, from everything I've heard, took a lot of development effort to get right. But uh, even something somewhat simple and maybe akin to the Duke Fish, Fish Run fight would be a welcome addition to the game. Anyway, just some thoughts on that. Nothing more to add right now. As I said, I would expect a state of the game post coming quite soon, as early as this Friday, so. Stay tuned to the channel and I will see you all soon. Thanks for watching.